talk about trauma, you talk about the effects of uh, decades of war and human rights violations and abuses being committed against civilians uh, affected by conflict. Uh, for example, we talk about widespread uh, sexual violence, including rape, um, forced marriage, forced pregnancy. Uh, we're also talking about forced recruitment, uh, abductions, disappearances of individuals. Um, we're talking about a range of issues that have happened over a long period of time to a majority of the civilian population in the country. We need to declare this day for forgiveness. Trauma, healing, offering, the social support in the youth from the grassroots who are greatly affected. We, the youth, you, the youth who are in town here, were better off. Your generation who are in the countryside are really facing a lot of hardship. Youth of South Sudan are the most affected by the conflict because they were, they were used by the politicians. How can youth themselves deal with the trauma, stigma, discrimination? hatred caused by years of conflict. The youth, them, youth themselves has to take part in the trauma healing exercise because most affected people in the communities are the youth themselves. On implementation of the revitalized agreement the issue of mental status, the psychosocial support uh, for the population of the Republic of South Sudan is very vital and this is an area which has been overlooked by so many actors and um, I think it's an opportunity now to for sustainable peace to really concentrate on the area of the brain. Meanwhile, it is good to echo that uh, uh, before the signature of the revitalized peace agreement in 2018, there was an assessment which was already been done that the population of the Republic of South Sudan, mostly the 75%, I mean 74% are youth. So, which means there's a lot to be done in the nation if the psychosocial uh, status of the youth is not stable, uh, there is worry for the next generation in the country. And 70 percent of the population of South Sudan is aged under 30. Therefore it is vital that we understand the trauma experienced by youth during conflict, how they can overcome stigma and, and uh, discrimination, how they can access education, jobs and other livelihood opportunities and actively participate and indeed lead peace processes.